Okay, so T2T. -T. Um, it's very nice and it's one of my favourites, but the presentation of some of these a variety of boxes aren't quite as good as some others. Um, I realise this is tea, but you know, if you're um, a bit of a tea snob, I guess, presentation of what it comes in, especially when you're paying a lot of money, um, can be a factor. For example, a good one, another good one that I like um, is Wittards of Chelsea, and their presentation caddies are very nice. This lid comes off, and then you've got this underneath. You take this off and obviously you get inside and uh, your tea is just kind of running around loose inside there like that. Um, this one is very nice by the way, I'll just mention that. But um, the T2 ones that you get in this variety, um, you can get obviously these things in, in larger caddies but they're not, I don't know, they're not quite as nice as, as these ones to be quite honest. This has got like raised lettering, this kind of thing. The T2 ones you can get, there are different varieties. You can get a basic caddy like this, and this is raised at the top, but beyond that, there's not really much else um, to say about it. And difficult to do this with one hand, but so uh, that pops off the top there. And on the inside, it's got a kind of black uh, lining, which is, is nice, but again, just it's not the best compared to some of the others, like Witted's. So when you get one um, just basic on its own, this is about £8 off Amazon and I believe they're about the same if you go into a T2 shop. Um, all you get is this cardboard box and the stuff inside which is inside this. It's not exactly sealed in to keep it as fresh as possible unfortunately, which is a shame like I say when you're paying quite a bit of money. Um, not complaining about it, I'm just saying it's not the best. So um, what you want to do is you obviously put it inside here and this will keep it a little bit a little bit more sealed than it is in there, let's just say. Uh, but you have to either buy this separately or maybe get it if it's on some kind of offer. So one thing that I was thinking, because obviously when, once you put it in here, there's no label on this. And if you've got quite a few of these, it's difficult to, to keep track of what's what. Whereas, for example, again, going back to Wittards, You've got this slot here that whatever you want to use for this, you can um, put this this label in there. And it's just a very nice presentation. And from a practicality point of view, it's good as well. So what can you do with this? Well, I came up with a solution for this. So what I'm going to do is take the tea out of this and put it inside the caddy here. So let's just give that a go. So that's now inside there. And I can put the lid on and it closes down like that and that just keeps it slightly better sealed um, and then you've got this box here so one trick that I kind of figured out if you fold this down like this so I folded the upper lid like that and then those there this does actually fit inside there very nicely and there you go you've got it uh, in a sort of presentable fashion but also from a practicality point of view you can actually see what's in it and if you've got a few of these you can put them in your shelf like that it just looks nicer um, but that was pretty much the point of this video anyway like I say just a way of getting around the the lack of presentation that you've got with some of this I don't know if they designed it uh, with these kind of dimensions on purpose but if it were, if it wasn't done intentionally, it's a very nice, uh, convenient coincidence that that fits in there in the way that it does. So uh, yeah, pretty cool anyway. So no complaints. Just saying, um, at face value, the presentation is not quite as nice as these Wittards uh, tea caddies, but uh, still, you can get around it. And as far as I'm concerned, it's great. So there you go. That's my review. Thank you very much for watching.